Hey there, folks. It's John Q here from Techno Buffalo. Hope you guys are doing absolutely peachy. Today, we're going to be checking out the 120 GB Vertex 3 solid state drive from OCZ or OCZ, whichever one you prefer. We're installing this sucker onto an older 2008 MacBook, replacing the default hard drive that came with it. Even though this MacBook did not have SATA3, the Vertex 3 is compatible with a max read speed of 550 megabytes per second and a max write speed of 500 megabytes per second. It's a 2.5 inch drive, but they include an adapter if you want to install it onto desktops. The installation process is pretty simple, and it might vary from desktop to desktop or laptop to laptop. First thing you gotta do is power down your computer and unplug it. Easy enough. Next, we remove the battery cover. The newer MacBooks will require you to take the entire backing off. A bit of a downgrade if you ask me. Pull the battery out and set it aside. Alright. Next, take a Torx T6 screwdriver, remove the screws and pop off the hard drive. Be cautious about the data cable right there. Remove the four pins and the clear tape that are on the hard drive, and then reapply them to the new guy. Once you're done, reconnect the data cable, slot the brand spanking new OCZ hard drive in place, screw it back in, and basically do all the fancy stuff we mentioned earlier but backwards. Now you gotta reinstall the operating system on your machine. It might take a little bit depending on your computer, but with the magic of editing, this whole process took only about 5 seconds. Some advantages of upgrading to a solid state drive would be that the OS, programs, and apps will load much, much faster. You can definitely see the speed difference between the two from our file duplication test as well as our disk speed test. SSDs also have lower battery consumption compared to traditional hard drives. Like the name suggests, they're solid with no moving parts, which makes them more resistant to severe movement and, heaven forbid, drops. They're also quieter and tend to run a lot cooler than traditional hard drive disks. Now before you go on to Amazon going all click crazy, keep in mind that SSDs are also much more expensive than HDDs. The prices have been getting a little bit better, but they're still not comparable. SSDs offer significantly less storage than HDDs, and high storage solid states are crazy expensive. Even though SSDs can access data a lot faster than HDDs, HDDs can often outperform SSDs when it comes to write speed. The performance of SSDs will deteriorate over time, and they also have less write cycles than HDDs, but both are very high and it's very unlikely for someone to reach that limit. Hey, we also have additional advice for you. If your current compi feels a little bit slow, instead of splurging on a brand spanking new computer that oozes with glamour, swag, and thunder, try upgrading the RAM and the hard drives first. It'll give you a big performance boost and it'll be a lot cheaper. Before making any installations or teardowns, be sure you have all the tools you need for the job first. Some computers require very small Torx or Phillips screws. The last thing you want to do is strip a bunch of your screw heads, in which case you will be screwed. Ha ha ha, very very funny stuff. Now stick with a smaller sized SSD, something large enough to fit your OS and your programs or apps. Keep all of your media files and documents like your music, photos, and movies and so on, on a separate drive. Yes, having a 20 gigabyte collection of any and all things Dr. Dre is wonderful, but keeping that on an external drive is smarter and much more efficient. Well, I hope you guys found this video helpful. A big shout out to Ralph for doing the unboxing, the installation, and basically everything you see in this video. This was John Q from Techno Buffalo. Thank you very much for tuning in, and we'll see you guys next time. Laters!